I could not talk about this video where Alicia explains that she needs to restock her pantry because of all the empty shelves. You see all the food there on the shelves. That's before she restocks it. And she reckons all that food gets eaten within a week. She's taken the fucking piss. She's got enough food there to solve the hunger crisis in Ethiopia. Yet she's saying she's not got enough there for her family for one week. There's so many families right now struggling to feed their kids. Like literally living on toast. And yet she's here saying that this is not enough food. She's a fucking joke. Oh my God, look at the state of her van. It's fucking rancid. There's crumbs in that van from 2007. Yet she's got the food all fallen out on the floor and she's going to fucking eat it. No wonder the kids are all ill all the time. Watching the way she's walking in them jeans makes me think of a penguin that's been attacked by a bear. I knew she reminded me of someone. Right now when she's walking, she looks like the scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz. Or if you'd only had a brain... She got really hungry while she was stacking the supermarket shelves. So she decided to make this. She ripped up some floorboards and whacked some salmon on it. Then she put it on a barbecue. I don't know who came up with this idea, but they're as batshit crazy as Alicia. And this is what it looks like when it's cooked. Like a shriveled burnt calf of a grandma on a piece of charcoal. She fucking burns everything. That's got to be inedible. Maybe she'll have better luck with the third one. I don't suppose it really matters, though, because, you know, everyone's just going to be eating Velveeta anyway. While she put that one on to burn, she went back into the kitchen to chop up some asparagus for the chickens. But they don't trust anything that Alicia gives them in case she's cooked it herself so they wouldn't fucking eat it. Look at that one. He's fucking terrified. He's hiding behind the thing because he knows Alicia's coming with some of her cooking. Run, little birdie, run. What? You don't like asparagus? They probably like asparagus. They just don't like it if you've prepared it. Don't worry, though. They did do a chicken run into the garden and had some worms. In all honesty, I think I'd rather eat worms in the garden than Alicia's cooking as well. Speaking of Alicia's cooking, I found these gems. So she's actually named this one Slop. I couldn't think of a better name myself. Well done, Lishy. It's basically rice, mushroom soup, milk and tuna. Yeah, sounds really appetising. You just mix it together so it looks like a fatberg. If you don't know what a fatberg is, we get them in the sewers in the UK and they have to be blown up. They're basically lumps of fat with bits of shit in it. What people have put down the drain and stuff. Anyway, that's what it looks like. <laughs> This next snackety board caught my eye. Firstly, obviously, it's shaped like a fish. But mostly because she really thinks candy complements fish. Like fish fingers. Looks like scampi. Candies. Tomatoes and goldfish. With more sweets around the edge. What's for dinner, Mum? Oh, it's fish fingers and jelly worms. She's an absolute fruit loop. And this next one is arguably worse. First of all, she's got a massive mound of wafer-thin ham, which looks fucking disgusting, by the way. It looks like Hannibal Lecter's flayed someone. Just gathered all the skin and put her in the middle of a snackety board. Stuck some tomatoes inside to make it look appetising. But then she's added cheese, strawberries, various fruits, and fucking sprinkled it with marshmallows. What the fuck goes on in her head? It's like just because she can buy it all from Wegmans and it's the same store that it all tastes great together. I know what she means though. I see what she's going for. Like everybody loves a ham sandwich with mash with marshmallows on it. But this last video is the one that got me fucking angry. When I see her doing other countries' foods and people in the comments are like offended by it. I always thought they were being a little bit dramatic or just having a laugh, but when I saw this Yorkshire pudding one, I was fucking tamping. But for the UK, she did this like high tea, which she couldn't really go wrong with. Is It's just like cakes and biscuits, but we normally have sandwiches with it. The problem came at the main meal, so she made shepherd's pie, which looked fucking foul. 
when we have a shepherd's pie, it's got like a crispy top and we don't have it with fish and chips because that's a separate, separate meal, you greedy bastard. She also made a toad in the hole, which just looked like sausage inside a pie when it's supposed to be sausage inside Yorkshire pudding. But the real problem came with dessert and she made a Yorkshire pudding for dessert. That's like a terrorist attack on Yorkshire. I see she might be confused with the name pudding. But if she'd even just looked at Google, literally the first recipe on Google will make it evident to any nincompoop that Yorkshire pudding is made as a main meal side, like we normally have it on a roast dinner. And they're supposed to be fluffy and just, they're actually one of the nicest things you can have. And she's just made it look like an abomination. And like I said, I was angry and being fucking petty. So I found this little video of her. Say her, it's actually of her thumbs. And I normally wouldn't stoop this low. It's not because her thumbs are deformed. It's because she's a fucking alien. And she can do this with her thumb. Look at this. You'll never be able to unsee that now. Sweet dreams, everyone.